Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux of FluxWithIt.com, and we're deep into the Synth DIY project now. So what I've done is we've been building this kind of mangle box uh, type situation where we're basically going to be able to do a drone synth, a delay, a ring modulator, and a chaos oscillator all combined together. Uh, so what I've done is I've, we've gone ahead, we've already built the passive ring modulator. We've already built, uh, what else do we got over here? The 555 timer oscillator. And um, I didn't film building the dirt filter because I already have a dirt filter video. Uh, so there really wasn't much need for it, but I am gonna go over some of the changes for the nine volt version that, that I did. Now, I'm gonna move the camera and we're gonna take a look at what I have on the table so far. Okay, so here we are. We have this whole project basically laid out right now. A um, couple of things of note. So let's, let's kind of pull this thing apart because right now it just looks like a complete mess of wires. And I want to show you some of the things that I've done kind of off camera and just in general. Okay, so here we have the dirt filter. Now I've done a previous video and I'll put a link on the website uh, to the previous video on how to do the dirt filter. This build is really straightforward. There's very few components on it. Very, very simple to do. The only difference from the Eurorack version and the version that we're doing for this enclosure is we're not using the Eurorack header over here. Instead, what we're doing is we're going to be powering it off of nine volt power. Now, right now, temporarily, I have it hooked up with the actual nine volt leads. We aren't going to be using this. Uh, I just wanted to test the filter out to make sure that I did everything correctly and that everything was working. Uh, but what we're actually going to be doing is running everything in uh, parallel with the power off of our main circuit that we're doing for the entire enclosure. So this is sitting here. This could be used, but really it's not. On the back side here, what I've actually done, and it looks like I need to actually kind of clean it up a little bit, is I've gone ahead and just taken two wires and soldered them directly uh, off of where the, uh, where the nine volt is. And let's heat this up. Look at how, how fast and easy, easy this is to do. So we're just gonna kind of fix this wiring right here. And there you have it, finished. Yep, looks good. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking the nine volt comes over to our development board. This is the delay board and it's connecting over in parallel to the delay board's power. Now, if we watch the delay board video, you're gonna see how we wire this all up. The important thing to note is just that we're wiring everything in parallel so that you don't have voltage drop, okay? Voltage drop just means that each component is taking a little bit of voltage, so the next component in the line gets less and less voltage until you have a problem. We don't want that, so we want to separate everything out evenly. So we've got the dirt filter here. The other change that um, is made from the Eurorack to this version is the pots, instead of being mounted, the pots and jacks, instead of being mounted to the circuit board, we just mount them to wiring and then run the wire over there. That way, when we're in our enclosure, we can decide wherever we want to put them. So you just wire it one to one, very simple. Um, and just solder right up inside it. I like to run the wire up through the bottom and then solder right on top because we're gonna mount these flush to the case. So, you know, that way we, we can just place everything wherever we want to. We've got our little LED light here to indicate power. So right now it looks like a tangled mess. I just took some tape and kind of wrapped up all the sets of wire so that you know, things aren't going inside of each other and, and getting tangled up for now. Um, it looks like a mess right now, but it'll actually be really easy to mount this stuff all up the way that we're doing it. Um, this is the PT 
uh, 2399 development board. Again, this is a really simple build and the pots and jacks are just mounted to wires and that's just they're just floating so that when we get to the point where we put this in the case, we can decide to put things wherever we want them and not have to worry about, um, you know, if you mount them directly to the boards, then you're going to end up with problems because, you know, it's not all going to fit in the case properly. So we mount everything floating on wires. All right. The oscillator, what I've decided to do with it is uh, this is just a free running oscillator. I've decided I'm just going to let this thing kind of be its own little circuit. And, you know, it's powered off of this circuit, but this output, it's just a free running oscillator. So if we want to run this into inputs, we can do that. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more flexibility. And it's only like, I want to say like 12 bucks for that kit. So why not do it? And about five minutes worth of soldering. Now over here, we have the Chaos NAND. All right, now the Chaos NAND is all set. The only thing that I haven't done for this yet is I've done none of the uh, control voltage mods and I haven't done any of the power on this one. So I'm going to do those uh, very shortly. Once I have that stuff all put together, we'll basically be finished and ready to put everything into the enclosure. So that's going to be the next step. And uh, I'll get out of here and we'll, we'll jump into uh, the modifications uh, that we can do to the Chaos NAND in just a second.
Thank you very much.